What do we got? We have, uh, I guess it's sort of an Amaro. It's like an herbal liqueur from do we Croatia. Like, do we like herbal liqueurs? I do. I don't know about do you. We, do we like Croatia? Sure. Okay. I hear it's a lovely <laughs> place to go. Okay. So this stuff is called Antique Pelinkovac. Uh, premium herbal liqueur. It comes in at 35%, like a liqueur. Okay. And it's from Croatia. Croatia. Or I'll read it at sure. a smidgen. You got, you got some stories? Uh, I get the back story. I like the bottle. Very pretty. The legacy of Antique Pelinkovac was born in 1862 with oh. Frangio Picorni. And I apologize for mispronouncing most of those names, probably. Who was a chemist, a distiller, and a tradesman. As with many herbal liqueurs at the time, Picorni Pelankovic, as it was called then, was sold as a digestive elixir to pharmacies as it was believed to help cleanse the blood and strengthen the stomach. It's a story of loss and rediscovery. As the formula was lost during the tragedies of World War II, only to be rediscovered in the year 2001. It is one of the most popular drinks in Croatia today. Really? Interesting. It is. Interesting. Did they, did they give you a rundown on what's in it? They do not. Did what they, they tell you? you is our sacred recipe, not secret, sacred, sacred recipe, sacred. is treasured under lock and key, creating a liqueur steeped in mystery, yet with indulgence and depth in every sip. So you get nothing. Hmm. Okay. What they do tell you is that there is some things, 40 Mediterranean herbs and botanicals. Of those, uh, sage, St. John's wort, lemon balm, sweet flag, lavender, anise, sweet fennel, common centauri, and wormwood. Mm. Which is what? Absinthe as well? Yeah, I think so. so yeah. A little bit of it. So, you want to give it a whirl? Yeah, let's do it. I love the color. Yeah, it's cool. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh. Ring a ding ding. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. You know what this is? Vicks Formula 44D. You think? I swear to God, that was just an Amaro that they rolled out and told you. It is. Knocked kids out. You were... Woke up the next day. When's the last time we saw 44D on the shelves? I think they took it off the shelves because... They probably did. Someone realized it was an Amaro. Well, you know what they did? They, they reformulated it. And this yeah, is they... It. Or, this is it. Else. or maybe it's a Verna. Or it mm. could be any of those. It smells great. I like the smell. It doesn't have that, like... Like if you ever smell a fernet, fernet you could just tell is going to be just mean. Yeah. This yeah. has a sweetness to it. So they use a three-step process. Mm -hmm. There's a cold maceration. Okay. With 40 herbs and botanicals. Mm. A distillation of 30 herbs and botanicals. Okay. In small copper pot stills. And then a blending of the two. Hmm. And put it together. Nice. Oh boy, it smells so good. It does. It really, really does. I'm going. Wow. So am I. That is very, very, very approachable, I think. Wow. You could drink that by itself. Yeah. But it's almost got like like a root beer. Yeah. It's got like you a... You know, or like a sarsaparilla yeah. kind yeah. of thing going on there. Like, yeah. is it like Maybe a little bit of mint on the back end. Yeah, it's not super sweet. And a, a little... Um, a little fennel. You yeah, get a little bit of like licorice. Fennel, fennel grassy. A little... Yeah. Uh, well, they say anise and fennel are in it. But a little, a little grassy at the mm. end. That's nice. That is very nice. I like that. So the very nice book that they provided with some information. Yeah. Also had a series of cocktails. Yes, it does. And I noticed that you had dog-eared a few. I did. Uh, one is a Sazerac, which we like Sazerac. I love Sazerac. And one is a Boulevardier. And you I love are a Boulevardier. Well, Boulevardier. there were a lot of cocktails in there that I really liked, so, but, I, but I don't have the ingredients. Yeah. So I'm not, you know... And it appears that what you're doing in here is you're using uh, the antique mm -hmm. as a substitute for some ingredients. Right. So you're cutting back on something to include this and putting a twist on yeah, it. Yeah, so for the Sazerac, usually you would have, I think it's um, rye whiskey, a little bit of sugar, Peychaud's bitters, and uh, absinthe. And an absinthe rinse. And yeah. in this, you're not doing the absinthe rinse. And you're cutting back on the bitters and using a whole half ounce of this. Mm. That would probably be delicious. I can't see that being bad. Not at all. Yeah, and the Boulevardier, I think they the substitute this for Campari. Yeah, this is what, you told me before, it's one, one, and one. The an ounce, give an ounce, an ounce, yeah, whatever something you're like doing. That. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, the, the one thing missing is the Campari. So you're using this for Campari, and it's got the sweet vermouth and the mm. rye or the bourbon. It's just really nice. Yeah, and it's different from the Italian ones. I mean, granted, I should say it's different from the Italian ones that I've had. Like, it doesn't have, like, the bitterness yeah. of, like, a Chinar or a, like, Fernet is, is Fernet, really yeah. bitter. 
Uh, Averna is pretty sweet. This is maybe more like along those lines of sweetness, but not as sweet though. Like Averna's got a lot more sugar, I think, than this. And, and it's sweet, but it's not sticky. No, it's not like a thick syrupy kind of thing. No, no, it's no, really, no. But it's, it's not really thin nice. either. It's just no, no. It's, it's, it's got a nice, nice flavor to it. I can a nice see, texture. And I think they say you could just have this like, you know, on a rock mm -hmm. with like some orange or maybe like a lemon peel over some ice cream. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. A little, a little vanilla ice cream. Ooh, I got butter. I bet pecan. you like that. I got butter. I bet pecan. you like that. I got butter pecan ice cream. I bet you do like, like a, do a little butter pecan little like float. sort of sort of an affogato oh, kind of thing. Affogato. Affogato. I just I like to say affogato. It's just fun to say. Mm. I like it. I like it. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's uh, really I don't know. Nice. It's hard to grade this kind of stuff, but so, if I didn't... Yeah, if I was given a grade, just, I'm giving... We just don't have that much... I'm, I'm getting... It's getting close to an A. I yeah, mean, we don't have that much experience good. with it, to, to, for me anyway, to grade it. I like it on its own. I'd like it, you know, mixed. Yeah, I, like I think this rock. would be really intriguing to try in a series of cocktails. You know, even just a highball. Yeah. This, some, like, some, like, maybe some nice sparkling water. You know, like a club soda or a nice uh, sample of Reno. A yeah. little bit of lemon. Yeah. Maybe throw some, you know, something else in there. And I can certainly see how this got its uh, digestif. This would be nice after a little, uh, yeah, a little too much of a meal. Now let's not tell the college kids about this because then I'll probably be like, ah, Jägermeister. Let's do this. <laughs> exactly. Let's do we'll this. We'll be doing that. Keeping us in the freezer and doing shots. Maybe we should tell the college kids, and these guys will be really happy. And and do we get a cut? Do we get mm. a commission? We get to say we tried it when. Okay. Boy, that's nice. Ah, oh, I want cash. Uh, what do we do with cash? Yeah. Do you want a list? So someone sent this to you? Yes. Yes, this is from Handcrafted PR. I'm going to try to not butcher Anna's name, Anna's last name, the woman who uh, runs the show, Anna Jovansisevich. Easy for you to say. So, Anna, thank you, and cheers to Antique... Pel How do you say it? Antique? How, what is it again? Antique? Antique Pelenkovac. Antique Pelenkovac. So cheers to them too. We wish you great success. Cheers. Cheers.